Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dads Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review for you. Going to do a, another beer by Vocation. And it's Vocation's collaboration with Brew York and it is their Sweet Temptation. And this is a chocolate and caramel stout weighing in at 6%. And it says so right there. Um, we've got a canned on date of the 9th of June 20 and the best before the 9th of June 21. Here we go, it says that there. So have a little look at the old label. It looks like it just looks like melted chocolate. It says on the back, Sweet Temptation Chocolate Caramel Stout with sweet notes of chocolate and caramel. This silky smooth, rich and seductive stout is impossible to resist. It says that there. Love vocation beers, love brew york beers. For me, this really should be a winner. Both know how to do stouts, so this should be very, very good. Fingers crossed. So let's pop it top and let's see what we've got. A little bit left, I'll top up shortly. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? Jet Black beer. Two fingers of dark tanned head. Looks like a sponge cake. Looks like a sponge cake head. Very nice indeed. There's a little bit of carbonation, as you can see, around here and in this department here. But that looks delicious. So, let's get a nose. And let's see what we can smell. Oh, that smells great. Absolutely brilliant. That's what's making that noise. Slow cooker. Chocolate. Um, there's a little bit of coffee in there. Toffee. Caramel. Vanilla. smells lovely. Roasted malt. It smells sweet. Sort of temporary sugar maybe. Let's go for it. Body and carb. Cheers. Oh well, hey. No, that's not as... <laughs> I thought this was going to be thick. I thought it was going to be heavy. I thought it was going to be... Um, chewy but it's not it's uh it's light bodied it's light bodied and it's velvety um it's like if you make a you make a milkshake out of skim milk it's got that body to it you know a little bit creamy a little bit velvety but just light a little bit watery anyway let's top it up then we'll go for the big taste So, it's with a big taste. Milk chocolate, caramel, roasted malt coming through, and roasted malt stays there till the end as well and goes into the finish. But there is this nice little pockets of sweetness, bang, 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 popping off. But we've got vanilla, we've got toffee in there. And it all kind of just moves along quite nicely and then fades, leaving this roasted malt backbone finish. And it's nice. It would be great with a with a whack of coffee in it. But I'll take that, throw what you've got, what brew you've got, throw a big chunk of coffee in it so you get the chunk of coffee back end. And that's what it needs. It needs that, just that little bit extra. Maybe even a bit more bitter, a bit more bitterness. It's still good though. It's super easy to drink. It really is. Just this will fly down. And the more I'm getting into it, it's silky as it does go down. But it is like like I say, it's like a, a watery milkshake, watery chocolate milkshake. It's tasty. But 
and he just lacks a bit of body, you know. Perfectly pleasant, very drinkable, very easy to drink, as I've said. I don't think there's any much, there's not much more I can say about this beer, really. It's good, it's not great. I'm slightly disappointed because I really want this to be fantastic. Um, it just lacks a little bit of body for me. Um, but what's it got in it? It's got oats in it, it's got lactose in it. They just might not have enough oats and lactose. But still very, very good. So, I'll wrap this review up. Vocation and Brew York, Sweet Temptation, Chocolate and Caramel Stout. Do I like it? I do. It's nice. It has the it has the it has the taste, actually now that I've come to think I've drank it and I've come to think. It has the taste of a almost a chocolatey clay to it. Um it's what it was reminds me of and like a, a shoe bun, you know. Um do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Probably not, and I'll tell you for why, because I've got this, and I think this is its bigger brother. Um, this is the Imperial Frappe, which I'm going to be reviewing later on. So, would I buy this? No, I wouldn't, but I would recommend it to friends. And if I, I saw it out and about, if I, certainly if I saw it on a on tap, then I would get it. Um, but for me, it just lacks that little bit of body that I wanted. I wanted something a little bit heavier. Um, and I said earlier on in the review, throw a bit of coffee in this and give it a coffee finish. It'll be great. I um, make the body a little bit thicker and it'll be excellent. So there you go. So if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will link the vocation websites also. That'll be down there as well. I um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe down there. I think it's there. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay alert and stay safe. And hail the ale.